if the Earth is going to stop spinning for five seconds? How much damage would this sudden stoppage cause, and what would you experience in different parts of the world? And when the Earth starts spinning again, would it still be habitable? The Earth makes one full rotation on its axis in one day, giving us day and night. The Earth is spinning because of collisions that happened when the planet was forming 4.6 billion years ago, as a huge disk of gas and dust swirled around the sun. Dust and rock grains clunked together, generating forces that kept the planet rotating in one direction, much like a figure skater spinning faster and faster. And with almost no forces in space to slow the planet down, we keep rotating and will continue to for billions of years. But if the Earth stopped on a dime, would you fly right off the surface? If the planet came to an abrupt halt, the atmosphere would still be in motion, meaning that though everything has lurched to a stop, powerful winds would continue to blow, and these wouldn't be a strong breeze. They would be many times stronger than any storm you've ever encountered. The strength of these winds would differ based on where you were on the planet. At or near the equator, the Earth is rotating at its fastest, and here you'd experience wind speeds of 1670 kilometers per hour, 1037 miles per hour. Winds that would knock you off your feet and tear up the Earth's crust, making it irrelevant whether you were out in an open field or inside a steel-reinforced building, as these winds would obliterate you. For context, the strongest F5 tornadoes have velocities up to 511 kilometers per hour, 318 miles per hour. Storms that can move houses off their foundations, send cars flying, and even tear apart concrete structures. But the winds from Earth's emergency brake would be three times stronger than that. So if the crust under your feet didn't crumble, you and a lot of other stuff would likely go flying a great distance, but not off the face of the Earth, as the escape velocity or the speed you need to escape the Earth's gravitational forces and enter space is about 40,000 kilometers per hour. 25,000 miles per hour. In other parts of the world, like New Zealand or France, you'd experience slightly weaker winds, but at 1180 kilometers per hour, 733 miles per hour, these winds would still be much stronger than any storm ever, pretty much destroying everything. But they wouldn't be the only hazard you'd need to keep an eye out for in these short five seconds. Our planet is not a perfect sphere. It bulges near the equator due to the centrifugal forces generated by the planet's rotation. And if the rotation stopped, the Earth would transform quickly into a perfect sphere, with all the water gathering near the equator flowing away toward the poles, generating a massive tsunami five seconds later, when the planet returned to its full-speed rotation, that water would backtrack, and a wall of water would slam into everything and everyone twice. That's one heck of a storm. Maybe the only place you'd be safe in this scenario is near the North or South Poles, where the winds would be the mildest. You must be relieved to hear that the Earth has returned to its normal rotation after all this, but there would be nothing left on it. Every building, all farmland, and all technology would be demolished beyond recognition, and billions of people, if not every single person on Earth, would die from the brute force of being slammed by the massive gusts of wind. So if you're looking to survive this apocalyptic scenario, you'd better start building an underground bunker. Luckily, it's expected the Earth won't come to a halt any time in the next few billion years. The sun would burn out and turn into a red giant soon.